Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Binding. My name is Dave and today we're going to go all Samurai in the review of 16 Samurai by Outset Games. Let's do it. Now as a disclaimer, this is a review copy sent to us by our friends up north, Outset uh, Media. They are distributors for a lot of fantastic games, but they don't just do that. They also make some pretty cool ones like Coracle and, well, we'll see about 16 Samurai. This, the theme is you have your uh, clan of 16 Samurais and you're trying to dwindle it all down to be the last Samurai standing. And that's pretty much the winning stipulation. Now, this takes eight sided dice, which aren't used as much as I would like them to be in board games, which then you have them rolling and the highest number wins. And that's basically the battle. You want to choose different like stipulations and abilities that your Samurais ha have to help you roll more dice. But let me just show you the production and then we'll tell you a little more about the game and then I'll give you my opinion. Let's go. All right, so this is what comes in the box of 16 Samurai, and I gotta say, I like what comes in the box. I love these pearl essence dice in every one of these colors. Uh, the purple and green being the best colors here, but even like this orange color is pretty nice, and like you can see the marbling of the dice, and not many games use an eight-sided dice, so I'm giving them mad credit for that. Now, let me go over something that I'm not too keen on um some of these samurais don't actually look like samurai it's the samurais this guy looks like he was from uh, he i don't know um like viking or roman a mixture he couldn't decide on who he, who he wanted to fight for and mr Bucketfoot here <laughs> i mean he's a samurai but why is he st has a bucket on his foot and this isn't 16 bards and this is a modern day samurai how'd she get in there and then lastly the pirate actually she looks awesome but not a samurai in my eyes but those are just a few cards the art is really cool it's just that throws me off a bit these are my favorite i like these ronin samurais and she looks awesome too and this guy has a pet tiger miko a pet tiger that's you and the cards are a nice linen finish and the colors in the backgrounds really don't mean anything. And you have battle cards that you'll be playing with too. But overall, I am impressed with this production with a few kind of chuckles along the way. Okay, so now let me go ahead and tell you how to play this game. At the beginning of the game, you will spread out all the samurais applicable to whatever um, amount of players you're playing. This is a two player game. Each player will get 16 Samurais, so right here we have 32 Samurais all put out, and basically it's drafting. You could just put them in your hand, but they tell us to put them out like this, so that's what we do. You also give everybody their five battle cards. These are just enhancements uh, that you'll be using throughout the game, and, and they're the same for everybody. They uh, boost up your Samurais. So everyone will take turns drafting, picking these cards until they have a hand of 16 Samurais, and then you go on. To the actual gameplay. Let me show you how that goes. So the game is broke down into two phases. The first phase is uh, everyone will have their hand of cards, their four dice here, and their battle cards. You will play all your battle cards in the first phase uh, because if you get to the second phase with any of them they're discarded and or you'll be playing the samurais now everyone will be playing one samurai in the beginning of each round and there will be one winner if and once the winner uh, is declared they will uh, the, the winner will take that card and put it in the hall of honors basically it's going to be there for the next phase of the game and anybody who lost discards their samurai now um, you can also play some of these boosters here in order to win the round and some of them will steal the steal the round from them some of them will basically just allow you to um, roll dice again and it's just various things like that but you have to declare a certain power that you'll be using so the dice determine the winner and the highest number is the one who wins not the highest total so the um, person at the beginning of the round 
who wins, or in the beginning of the whole game, uh, you choose a start player, they will choose one of these powers, and that number is indicated to how many dice you'll be rolling. So right here, power, would he would roll one. Uh, speed, if I pick speed, I would roll three dice. And once I declare a power, everybody will pick, pick a samurai in their hand, and that's how many dice they'll be rolling if they have whatever. Um, like, let's say I have speed, and they're going against this person. So these two, in this occasion, each of them will roll three dice. Let's see who wins here. So the highest dice over here is a six. So the blue player actually has a seven or well, an eight. So they definitely win. Now, if there is a tie, you'll continue to uh, go down to the second dice and see if somebody wins. Now, if there isn't um, a tiebreaker at that point, then you'll have a roll off and each player will have one dice and they'll continue to roll until somebody has a winner or the highest number there. And then again, whichever winner takes their samurai and puts it in their hall of honors for the second phase of the game, which is the end battle. That's when you'll discard all these battle cards that you haven't used and take any of the winner samurais you have and put them in your hand. And this way you're just battling like before, but this will continue until one last samurai is left. And if you only have like two samurais, you'll be recycling them. You'll play one and then you'll, if you win, you'll put them in the honor um, hall again or in your hand more of, and then you'll play a different one. You cannot play the samurai um, two times in a row unless you only have one samurai and he's the only one left. You can continue to play him. But again, each player will play samurais in the second in battle phase until one last samurai is left and that person is the winner. Pretty simple, pretty fast. Now let me tell you what I think about it. Let's go. So that is 16 samurai and what does it get for me? It gets an 81, which is the Game Find Play It Award. And I like it quite a bit. Now let's get the things out of the way that are kind of not my favorite things or a little bit silly. Um, some of the, the, the drawings are out there like the um the the karate person and the gi i don't really think of samurais but again these are i get the concept every kind of style is trying to jump into this tournament of styles um of sorts more of to become the best samurai overall but where there are some kooky drawings there are some magnificent beautiful art drawings like some of the ronins and some of the samurais uh, that they pull off the colors are very like vibrant and crisp. The production of the game, linen finish are the cards, the dice are so nice and they roll well and they got a good weight. It hits pretty well on that factor. And it's dice, so rolling and luck is going to be a huge factor. If you're not into that, well, you're not going to really be into this game. But overall, I like the game. I love luck and like I said, eight-sided dice aren't used as often in board games as I would like, so they found a way to do it. Now this has a mechanism in it that one of my favorite games of all time has in it, and that is Dwellings of Eldervale. And it's where you, you roll the dice and you don't add all the totals up. You just add the uh, highest dice and you go down the line to make sure uh, there's a tie to have an all-out winner. I love that concept. It's different. Uh, you don't have to worry about looking at all the dice. If you don't have to, if you, if you have an eight and no one else has anything uh, that's equal up to that, it's pretty much lose. But you can go down the line and once the last battle happens, then you can just go at it and you can find yourself rolling a lot and mashing each other. But again, it's all luck and I love the mechanism instead of just adding the dice, highest the number wins. Um, and the theme is it's there, it's not huge, but I, it does serve the art well. Who do I recommend this for? Uh, this is going to be for the person who has been in the hobby at least just probably like a few months and they want to stick their teeth into a different kind of dice roller. Well, this is one that you would want to pick up. It's a small package, the, the box isn't that big. You can actually take all the components out of the box and take, put them in a smaller one and take it on the road with you. This is a great game for portable uh, play, very fast paced and a lot of people like samurais. You really can't go wrong with that. So overall, I recommend this one. And again, thank you so much, Outset, for providing us with this review copy. This one is a winner in my book and I appreciate your support.
can't thank you enough. Now, Vine Nation, if you click like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. We did reach 10,000. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for all the support. I do plan on making some kind of video or a little giveaway. So keep an eye on that. But until the next time that I see you, my name is Dave. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. You heard it here on the Game Vine. I'm out. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.